Well, we had a new champion after uh, Liv Morgan won the women's Money in the Bank, cashed it against Ronda Rousey. She won the title and uh, felt like it was something to make people really happy because they were going to do some awesome. bullshit in the main event. Yeah, because they were going to put Austin Theory over at the end. So um, right now the plan is Liv Morgan and Ronda Rousey at SummerSlam, which kind of surprises me in a lot of ways, you know, especially cause, because they, they didn't leave with any heat. I mean, Ronda just hugged her let you know walked out of the ring let her have her moment they've been building for this for Liv morgan for a while so yeah i mean when they do stuff like this it's like you know they like they pass around titles i mean but it, it's if you know there's so many times where you know we've seen it with you know people when you know all the time where someone wins a championship and then they lose it and they're back to being a prelim wrestler so to speak and so, you know, to me, it's just like, well, what was the value of winning that championship other than, you know, makes people happy or whatever. But, but we'll see, you know, again, going forward, if they, if they, you can, you can belt someone, but there's a big difference between belting someone and, um, you know, really making them a, a star or think you're really getting behind them or, or treating them like a real champion. And we don't know what will happen. I mean, if she goes in there, um, it is interesting, though, because I think almost everybody figured it was going to be Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey at, at uh, SummerSlam, and it's not. Well, the Women's Money the Bank open with Liv and Asuka and Alexa, Raquel Rodriguez, Lacey Evans, Shotzi, and Becky. They went 16 minutes, and uh, this was one of the sloppiest Money the Bank ladder matches ever. I mean, there were there, there been, so there been, there many. Been, there have been, been worse ones, but there were there were a couple of bad moves. There here, were yeah. so many botched spots in this match. And actually, Shotzi, holy smokes, she botched virtually every single thing that she tried. They had a spot where the ladder was in the corner, and there were like four women involved. And first, Shotzi tried to run up the ladder, and she slipped and fell through the ladder. Then she tried to climb yeah. up and do a DDT on the ladder, and the DDT didn't look good. Later, she went up top, and she was trying to do a senton, and she was supposed to miss, and I guess probably land back first. She was either supposed to land back first on the ladder or land on the canvas and not touch the ladder. And instead, she hit only the back of her head on the yeah, ladder, and happy. she's bleeding all over the place. There's blood. like I, I mean, it was everywhere. I presume they probably had to examine her immediately after the match, see if she had a concussion. They probably should have examined her before they let her go and do more spots. But uh, they had a ladder bridge, and Asuka's on the ladder bridge, and Becky's supposed to do a, a leg drop off a ladder and put Asuka through the ladder bridge. But instead, she, like, overshot, yeah. and it looked like the way Asuka was selling that Becky basically just smashed her boob and then fell off the ladder, and they both fell down on the ground. So that didn't look great. And then uh, finally at the end... Uh, Becky is uh, climbing the ladder, and uh, they have a big brawl up there, and Liv knocks her off the ladder, climbs up, grabs the briefcase, uh, Becky flips out, and uh, Morgan is the winner. So, I mean, it was, it was, it, you know what it was? It was scary to watch this match. It was scary. Like, there were so many spots where... People are really lucky they didn't get hurt in this match. Yeah, a lot of stuff that was... It was off. It was just a lot of stuff off. Um, I, I don't know. I've, I've seen... I think... I, I feel like I've seen worse women's Money in the Bank ladder matches. But um, that, you know, the the one where, um, where, where Shotzi was to run up the ladder, I mean, that was... You know, but that's one of those things where shit happens too and i mean the announcers were really trying to cover going like you know you just can't count on these ladders although in a lot of the cases it was not the ladder's fault it was people missing missing their targets it's also interesting that uh lacey evans was like a total non-factor in this match but every time she would go to climb man these people they booed her out of the building and it's like fourth of july weekend she's the former marine she's had no with the exception of that one interview, like, weeks and weeks and weeks ago. I mean, nothing resembling a heel turn. She's been pushed as a babyface. But, man, she was not a babyface here on this show at all. No, no. It's a hot uh, crowd, by the way. I think I think, I think, think some of it was is that people had their favorites, and I think they were af afraid that she was going to win, and they didn't. And she was not one of their favorites. 
I think that probably, you know, Liv Morgan was probably the favorite, but I'm sure they would have been fine with Asuka, you know, but, um, you know, they had people who they, I think, I think that there was a sense that because they're pushing her so much that she might win. And you could just tell that the people did not, whatever, they didn't want her to win. So maybe that'll hasten the heel turn, you know, um, so I don't know. It's not, it's like she did all those great, those great vignettes, but, um, you know, people choose and, you know, that's what happened. So the main event was the Men's Money in the Bank ladder match. It was supposed to be Seth, Drew, Riddle, Sammy, Sheamus, Madcap, Omos, and Riddle. Uh, I guess we had Riddle twice there. But anyway, uh, out comes Adam Pierce, and he announces that uh, I have been told uh, that we have added a new person to the ladder match here tonight. A big surprise. Everyone gets all excited, and he announces it is Theory. And uh, fans are not happy with Theory being the mystery guy. So Theory gets into the into the ring, and the match starts. And uh, there was some great stuff in this match, but Omos was so horrible in this match. And well, every they time... They, 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 they camouflaged him. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Every time he got in there doing stuff, the crowd just died. And he got in there forever, and the crowd's dead. And then finally they laid him out for a while. And then, and then everyone got excited because they're doing all this cool stuff. Then Omos comes back and just kills the crowd again. And finally they take him, and they gave him a, a big... Uh, they all basically went outside and press-slammed him and put him through a table, and that was pretty much the end of Omos. And, uh, and then they got back into doing spots again. But, man, this guy, every time he got in the ring... It's like, there's a thing that he's there for when he's that size. And that's to catch people that are falling off high things or whatever. That never happened once. But, dude, he, his attempts to sell... Like, at one point, he's climbing the ladder. He's like, he's literally three rungs off the ground. So he's like two feet off the ground, maybe. He gets shoved off the ladder from two feet up, and he, and he tries to sell it. I don't even know what he was selling. He landed on his feet. And then they're trying to beat him, and he doesn't know how to sell, and then his offense looked bad. Oh, my God. I thought he was horrible in this match but uh, other than that everybody else worked hard Drew and Sheamus were kind of the uh, centerpiece just you know they would beat on each other they'd be taken out they would come back they would beat on each other they'd be taken out every time uh, Theory tried to climb they would call him sneaky because I guess you're supposed to announce you're about to climb before you climb the ladder otherwise you're sneaky I thought that was I thought that that was so they they did with Rollins too well Rollins, Rollins no it was Rollins was a snake Right, and then but it's like, but it's like they're just they're just climbing, which yes. is just the rules of the match. It's like it's like that's not, you know. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, they're trying. I guess they're just trying to get the heels over. But it's like the heels are doing what's totally legal and what you're supposed to do. Yeah, it's not sneaky to try to climb the ladder and get the briefcase. Yeah, in a Money in the Bank ladder match. So then, at one point, we had uh, Butch running down to the ring, and he jumped on McIntyre's back, and. McIntyre went to climb anyway, but then he got shoved off, and then he destroyed uh, uh, Butch, so he got taken to the back. We had a uh, bunch of people fighting at the top over and over again. Uh, Moss took a bad bump, looked like he got his leg caught in the ropes, and then hit the... I mean, he still got in position for the uh, curb stomp, except he was facing the wrong way, but I presume he's not hurt, but it didn't look good. Uh, the big spot was Riddle and Rollins at the top of the ladder, and uh, Riddle gave him an RKO off the ladder to the canvas, which was a it was a big RKO from way up there, and that was uh, that was a gutsy spot. And there was actually a, a women's spot I wanted to mention where uh, Liv, it was I think Liv and Shotzi and, and uh, I think Raquel, there are all on the rope. And from the top, Liv did a sunset flip power bomb, where she yeah, actually went. Oh, she went over the top, over Shotzi, grabbed Raquel, and then gave her the power bomb. That was a cool looking spot. So finally, Riddle goes up, and he's almost got the briefcase. But then Theory climbs up there, and it was very anticlimactic. They just they punch each other a bit. Riddle took the bump. Theory climbed up, got the briefcase. People booed him out of the building, and uh, now he is Mister Money in the Bank. Well, the one thing with theory is is that he could fail to cash in, and it doesn't really hurt him like it would if it was a baby face, you know. So he could go in there and, you know, like 
Um, and people would will be fine with it. You know what I mean? They won't feel well. Like- yeah, but they could also do the deal where he fails, and then you know Vince gives him the briefcase back. Remember they did it with Miz, yeah. And then uh, I I could see this going south quickly. Yeah. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.